We were gonna talk about this new 2024 Solar Octane Tacoma TRD Off-Road and what we did to it. Most of the time we'll, we've been doing 35s on these, 35, 12 and a half by 17 with a plus 35 offset. This time we did the same wheel offset, same size wheel, but we ended up doing a 285, 75, 17. So a little bit, uh, a little bit narrower tire and the tall, the tire is not quite as tall, but a little narrower. Um, is it necessary to have a 35? No, this, this customer had chose to go this route just because then you've got less rolling resistance, less drag, a little bit lighter tire, and you've got a little more room in the wheel wells when you're articulating this truck. So my guess is that this person is actually going to get out and use this truck where a lot of people they, you know, they deck out their trucks, they build them up and they end up being pavement princesses, which that's each his own. I mean, if you wanna drive around the parking lots, the mall and show off your truck, that's great. If you wanna get out in the trails, we like to make sure that everything we do and design at Westcott Designs is, is being able to be used with a purpose. So I'm gonna start up here in the front. We've talked about the tires and wheels on this. And now we've got a set of our DOM TIG rock sliders. These are a set of zero degrees with top plates. These are direct frame mount. The holes are all there. The bottom holes get opened up one size to allow for the larger bolts in the bottom with the inserts. Uh, we do uh, kick out tubes on each end uh, from the slider to the frame plate. And that is to add some more strength all the way out to the ends of these. And you can see in our rock sliders, we talk about all the time, how we radius them up here in the front end of the Tacoma to match the radius of the, the lower garnishment here or the front fender. And then back here in the back of the, uh, the bedside, how we radius the back corner here. Does it take more work to do this? Absolutely. We do talk about how much extra work's involved in making these rock sliders. But one of those things that we look at is, I don't care that it takes extra time. I don't care that it costs more money. I want everything to fit the vehicle like it belongs on the vehicle, like it could have possibly come like that from the factory. So with those extra little things, those extra touches and steps and things we take at our shops, just ensure that our stuff is at that top level, top tier for our products, that's what we do. Please, if you would, subscribe to our channel, comment below, we'd love to hear from you. So I wanna talk a little bit about our roof rack. Here's another product that we can talk about and I'll point out some things that why our roof rack is what it is and what just makes our roof rack as nice as it is. And a lot of people say, oh, you know, your roof rack is similar to this brand and it's similar to that brand. You're right. A lot of the roof racks, you can only make them so many different ways. But some of the things that we have really focused on our roof rack is just how tight it fits on the front of the roof here and keeping the angle of the front windshield to flow over the visor at the same angle so we can get the air up and over the vehicle. And then just how tight it fits on the side here so we can minimize any air getting up underneath the side of the roof rack to cause any turbulence, wind noise, uh, aerodynamics. We're really trying to do with this roof rack is add a lot of style to it, but actually make it super functional. I cannot stand wind noise. I can't stand squeaks and I can't stand rattles. So I can stand that I would sell something to somebody or for someone to buy something from us and have something that makes wind noise. So if someone says, hey, your roof rack makes wind noise. If our roof rack win makes wind noise, it's because it was installed improperly or somebody added a light bar that we didn't test or a light bar on it that actually interferes with the wind flowing over the top of the roof rack. So you can see as it's really tied all through the side here, but some of the things that we did is some of these little designs here, some of these little Easter egg designs that tie into the badging like on the pros, on the hood for the badge and then some other parts on this truck. And then you can see our little badge that we did back here. This is all laser cut out. You can see all the detail here in the Tacoma here that bolts on that's part of our badge with our bottle opener here. And it's all stainless steel with the black overlay plate. So we take these extra steps just to make sure that our stuff is that like, again, I say this all the time at that next level. So if you're really looking close and see the detail here, even the wheels, we made those the bolts that bolt through to hold this thing together. So it really looks like it has a wheel on it on top of that. You can see the angle back here in the back of this is all designed to match the angle off the back of here. And people ask, oh, you know, how far does it stick out past the, the cab? It actually lines up with the cab with the rear brake light on the radius of the back of the roof here. So that is the farthest point. And then as far as the antenna goes, 
We had it so it matches basically the top bar matches the top point on the, the fin in the back. And that's so when you put stuff up on the roof rack, you do not have to worry about something pushing down on the fin to puncture the roof or to bend the roof because of the weight on the antenna. But everything is designed with a purpose here. So you can see the nice clean look here. We just, like I said, it's just a very, very important. And if you can't tell by me talking about our stuff, yes, I can talk about our stuff all I want, but it's the passion that's behind all of this that makes it all possible because we wanna make sure that when a customer buys our products, that it's every bit, if not greater than what they ever expect. And the reason for that is because people are waiting for our stuff and I hate for when people have to wait. I don't want them to have to wait. I wish I could have stuff out in a couple, a couple weeks, a couple days. And sometimes it takes longer than that. And the reason it takes longer is because we're trying to make sure the quality is at the level that it needs to be when you receive it. So there's a lot of other companies out there that offer discounts on their product to sell their product. We don't offer discounts. We say you're buying the quality, you're not buying the discount. You're buying it for a reason and you're buying it for the quality of what we stand for. We build everything in house from start to finish. The only thing we don't make in house is our crossbars and our bolts. We do all of our powder coating in house. We don't do our anodizing in house, but everything else is done completely 100% in house at Westcott Designs. We always invite people to come down to our shop. We want to show them the process from start to finish and how we build things at our shop, just so people can get a greater understanding of why we do what we do and what makes us what we are. You know, I mean, we've got a great team and we, they, they're as passionate as I am and that's what we're proud of. And we're happy that we're able to have those, those employees that actually care about it like we do. And we hope that you guys understand for why we do what we do. One of the things we did on this truck is we did the Diamondback cover, super solid. You can walk on this. It's got a weight limit. I, I don't know what the weight limit is, but you could walk on this and it's very, very secure. And you can see how it folds over on both ends here. And it has a seam here through the center. So this side flips up, that side flips up. And then you can see along the bottom edge here, it has weather stripping all the way around it. Is it waterproof? I don't know if it's waterproof, it's water resistant. I mean, if you took a pressure washer or a hose and got it down in these corners, I'm sure it would get water inside. But as far as like secure, it's very secure. It has a lock in the back here. It has all these uh, tie downs here all the way around. So if you wanted to strap stuff to it, very functional. You could flip it back over this way. You could tie here so you could keep it open if you had stuff in, stuffed in the back of it. But just to, they make these all out of aluminum. This one has been uh, rhino lined over the top of it. So it's all aluminum core and construction. And then these are a hard composite plastic. And then they're backed on the backside with the bolts here on the backside here just to make them so much more secure. But just a really nice design here. Diamondback makes a nice cover. This is the first one we've done on one of the new 24s. And we think it's a really nice fit and we think it works very well and it's super functional. So we wanted to share that with you. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And we'd love to hear what you think about the cover on the truck. So all the things you see on the outside, sometimes it's the things that are hidden away that you can't see in the small details that really make a difference. So pop the bed right here. At least I think I'm gonna pop the bed. Maybe not. There we go, got the bed to go down. A little delay there. Our bed stiffeners. They bolt in here down at the bottom with two of the, the lower bolts. And then we run four bolts up the side here. I had somebody ask me, why do you have to use so many bolts? Why can't you use the existing bolts? We could have used the existing bolts. The reason we did not use the existing bolts is because we were trying to spread the weight and the pull on the side of this to have the maximum amount of bolting area or surface area that we can bolt this to, to maximize the amount of strength that we can add to this when it has force pushing outward on the sides from a bed rack or something pulling on it from the side or pulling in on the side because they're only spot welded down here at the bottom corners. And then this, this bed is actually composite. So with running the bed stiffeners like this, we're able to maximize on how strong they really are when they're bolted into place. So that really spreads the weight out. We've tested these, we tested them with a couple bolts in them. We saw that when we put force on the outside, we saw that it was starting to stress the holes that were actually there. So this makes it very secure. And using the bottom bolts here, keep them off the side. And these can all be used as latch points here to tie off to something like if you had your dirt bike in the back here, you could still use this because it makes a very solid structure the way that it's all welded together and designed to keep it locked so it doesn't bend. So very, very sturdy. I had somebody else ask me, they said, hey, your, beds, your bed stiffeners are not square. Well, we checked our bed stiffeners, they are square. The problem is, is that these beds are not square. And if you take a T-square and you put it in here, 
or an angle, you're gonna see that the bed is not exactly the same on both sides. So our bed stiffeners are correct. So when you tighten these things up, they all pull themselves together and they fill in the, the very minimal amount of gap that would be there. But some of them fit perfect, but like everything, everything is not made the exact same way every single time. So there may be a variance in the bed sides by just millimeters, but those are the things that when you tighten it up, it'll all pull itself together. So wanted to share our bed stiffeners with you. Very, there again, our, our design down here in the bottom, our little design that the way we did it is just really nice. There again, we got the truck, we've got the mountain and we've got the Westcott designs all together to tie that all in together. So hope you guys enjoy that. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'd love to hear from you. Please comment below. Please subscribe our channel if you're not subscribed already. Thanks so much. You see the visual stuff outside and then sometimes the stuff that's hidden away. He's probably over there laughing in his truck right now. He probably thinks this is really funny. He might as well get the band over there at the same time. <laughs>